Greetings and salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. Today what we're going to look at is dynamically renaming the first n columns in a data set. So this is a thing that you guys uh, will see often. I'm going to quickly show you a practical example. You get a report from a client. That report is pivoted. You can see that we have the months over there. The first row is blank. And then we got the context of each of the numbers for those months. So it's a pivoted data set that's given to you, and you need to start working with that. So how do we do that? So first of all, if you promote the headers, you can't because these headers are already the headers. If you promote the first row, it's going to throw away that row. So how do we actually do this dynamically? Let's quickly show you the problem practically. So I'm going to pull this data into Power Let's quickly make it a table. Yes, cool. What we're going to do is we're going to say data, pull it in from a table or a range. Here we go. Power Query opens. Brilliant. I love Power Query, by the way. Okay, so now you can see that the column headers are already there, but I want to get these column headers there. So how do I do that? The only option here is really to go transform and say first row is headers, but then you throw away those other ones, and then you need to manually add month by month. But that's not what we want to do. I'm going to show you how to dynamically keep these columns intact Jan to December but then only promote these first four as headers so what we typically want to do is I'm going to emulate what we want to achieve here so we're going to say here yeah, this is called the product and this is called the store location okay so I just want to show you what it does so you can see here in the M query it uses the function uh, table rename columns and in column one if we isolate this, I'm quickly just going to create, let's create a copy of this table over here. If I isolate this, this little, this little piece over here, you see we actually get a list. That's what we kind of want to achieve. We want to achieve this list, but programmatically, and then dynamically rename the first four columns. And that's basically that. But we also want to protect ourselves against future um, changes to this where they might add more context and then we don't want to change our power query. So how do we do that? Let's start. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use uh, we're going to use two functions. First function is table dot column names to give us the table names, the column names in our table. And then we're going to use list position of to find where we don't want to rename the columns from. OK, so let's quickly show how we're going to do that. First thing we is right click and we say insert step after and we're going to say use table dot column names for the source and that's going to give us a list of names. We know that from Jan to December, we don't want to dynamically change it because those are names that we know and that's always going to be the same. So we're going to use list dot position of and we know the first the first character that we do know that we don't want to look at is Jan. It's going to give us a number. It's going to tell us at number four, that is where we don't dynamically rename. So if we look at source, Jan is this column here. So zero, one, two, three, four. It starts counting from zero. Let's just quickly rename the step and we call that the column change number. Next thing, let's add another step. Insert a step after yes and this one what we're going to do now is we're going to return the column names so we say table dot column names yes yes that's going to give us a list yeah we know that now we're going to use a function called list dot first n to return the first four rows in this list because the four rows we want to rename so we're going to say list dot and we know it's from this table, but we know the number now because in the previous step we calculated the numbers. So we're going to give it that as an input call change number. Yes. So this gives us a list of all the old column names. So if you look at source, we want to change these. And this gives, gives us a dynamic list of the columns we want to change. Let's call this the old column names. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to create a list of all the new column names. So basically, these four, first four va values. So what are they? So we're going to insert a new step. 
insert new step after and we're going to take off from source we want the first record in the source because that is in the first record how do we get records in power query we buy or yeah we basically refer to that and we just put it in curly brackets we say record number zero which is the first record it's going to give me that record i want to convert this record into a list we're going to use a specific function for that called record to list and quickly show you that we're going to use this thing called record to list to do that so what we're going to say is we're going to give this as an input and it's going to convert that into a list object next thing we want to do is we want to we're now going to go back and use the list um, the first n of this list and we want to return the first four and we know we declare that other variable which was called call change number and this gives us the list of all the new values so we have the old values and the new values so let's rename that new column names all right so now we have a list of the old column names and the new column names so if we look at our aim is to produce a list with the old column name and the new column name old column name new column name so what we want to do now that we have both of them we want to kind of bring them together we want to say column one is equal to product column two is equal to store location how do we do that we're going to use a new function this function is quite cool it's called list.zip basically brings together two lists makes a list of lists so right click we say end a step after and we say excellent list zip and we're going to put it in curly brackets we're going to give it the old column names and we're going to give it the new call names this is going to give me a list of a list you can see there is column one column two is called that column three is called that column four is called that now let's call this the renamed columns now i'm going to add a new step and this step we're just gonna go back to source what we want in this step is now to use the rename columns function the documentation so here you just basically give a table the list of columns that you want to change it from and then to so what we're going to do is we're going to say table dot rename columns we give it the table as an input and we need to give it a list of columns we're going to change and we already know that we've done it with the renamed columns so i'm just going to feed it that name renamed so that step is called renamed calls now you can see it promoted that dynamically we just want to get rid of this top row so i can just say remove the empty let's bring it back to excel so you can see it works perfectly let's say for instance in the source you go and we delete these two columns and now we go in here we refresh the refresh should just dynamically bring that into account let's say we add a column and then we just bring that in as well okay and then we just say refresh you see it just brings it in automatically so you don't have to now go back and change your queries you just basically press refresh dynamically all your columns before this expected range will just appear in your data sets. Excellent. BA Sensei out.